So you know that video I uploaded the other week titled, These Aren't For Me? Well, they're not. They're actually for you. Yes! Love giving stuff away. Intro. <laughs> Salutations everybody, Benjamin Brandon here, and today we're talking about gear, Joby gear to be exact. I recently uploaded a short vertical film on YouTube and on IGTV, informing you that I partnered with my friends at Joby to give away a couple of really cool things in honor of my 10K celebration? 10 thousand celebration. I achieved 10,000 followers on Instagram, which is a big deal for me because that was really hard to do because I only make vertical films. Anyway, we're giving away some stuff. Stay tuned until the end for details on how you can enter to win. And for today's video, we're talking about how to use the Joby Griptite Pro Telepod, which is one of the big items we're giving away. The HandyPod Mobile Plus will be given away on next week's video when I show you guys how to use this cool little thing. Let's talk about the Telepod specs. It comes with Joby's Pro Grade Griptite mount, which is a dream by the way. Not only is that mount super sturdy and ain't nothing coming off of that thing, but it also works for horizontal and yes, vertical video. If you're new here, that's what this channel is pretty much about. If that's something you're into, you know, just just saying. On the Pro Mount, you have a cold shoe mount for a mic, which I would recommend a small one, like my favorite mic, the Rode Video Micro. You have two tripod telescope extensions. When both are extended, this thing goes to 31 inches in length. I mean, that's pretty long. I can barely put it in frame, which is pretty cool, but just be aware of the audio. Due to the fact that you're extending so much, you can definitely compromise your audio quality. It also comes with a pretty handy Bluetooth shutter remote. And lastly, it has three click positioning legs, which allows the telepod to be level on a surface that is flat or maybe a surface that's not so flat. Those legs are actually really handy when it comes to the weight you distribute on the telepod but we'll get to that in a sec. So here's one of the burning questions. What type of cameras can you use on the telepod? You can use a mirrorless camera like the Sony a7 II that you see here. And the reason why the three leg positioning system is really great is to distribute the weight, especially on a camera like the a7 II with a Zeiss 16 and 35 lens on it. That's a pretty big lens. I was able to lay it flat on the desk and didn't have to worry about it tipping over or unbalancing. You can also use point and shoot cameras like the Canon G7X. Action cameras are up to two pounds, such as a GoPro, or for me, I use a Yi 4K. And of course, you can use it with your smartphone. And one of the many great things about Joby is they provide all the peripherals you need to mix and match on the tripods or telepod. So those mounts are available for you in the box. And those are all the specs. Now I've been playing with this thing for over a month now and I was shockingly surprised mainly because I didn't know what to expect. But I will say the 30 inches in length that you get with this thing was more handy than I realized. Let me show you. Okay so we're out in the field about to use the handypod and the telepod to see how good they are, what they do, what they're all about and ultimately Thank you, let's go. So what's cool about this thing so far is it gives you such a long reach that you can literally just do this. But it's still cool enough to where it doesn't look like a selfie stick and I'm like a Coachella girl or something. Now another cool thing too is it comes with a Bluetooth remote so I can literally just hit one button and I get to record just like that. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That was pretty cool. The first benefit was shooting mobile time lapses. The telepod was sturdy enough to shoot a decent time lapse at an angle I normally can't get unless I have like a regular tripod. Now the thing with these selfie sticks in general is you want to make sure that they're stable because when you're doing a time lapse, granted some of the in-camera stabilization on the phones is really good, but they're not perfect. So let's see if this is pretty stable. We'll sit here for like 10 minutes. I'm bored because I don't have my phone. Here you can see the end result. I was in a public location where I couldn't bring too much attention to myself, so having this guy was actually really beneficial. That's enough for the time lapse. Let's uh, try something else, maybe slow motion, I don't know. I also tried to take a few slow motion shots just to take advantage of the length that the telepod gave me that I normally don't have with the gorilla bot. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Kids, don't try this at home. Oh no, I'm already run over.
and though some of the shots were a bit adventurous and avant-garde, they still turned out pretty cool. Overall, this is a piece of gear that I would totally recommend to pretty much anyone. Whether you're shooting vert with your smartphone, widescreen video on your phone, or using a mirrorless camera or DSLR, I honestly think you'll quite enjoy this thing. I guess the only downside is you need to have some sort of flat-ish surface. The legs do do a good job, <laughs> I said do do. They do a good job of trying to compensate for surfaces that aren't that level, but as it's not a traditional gorilla pod, you can't wrap it around trees or poles or any of the other weird stuff that I do. And for me, the best thing that I loved about this telepod was the size. Whether I was shooting on my smartphone or my mirrorless camera, I was able to get away with just this thing and i mean popping it down clamping it back up tighten it like that's it in comparison to well you know something huge like this all i needed was this little guy and i was able to shoot an entire video i hope that video was helpful for those who currently own a telepod and need to know how to use it or how they should be using it now let's talk about how i can give you this one the rules are super simple. All you have to do is the following. Number one, head over to Instagram, drop me a follow if you're not following me already. Number two, head over to Joby's page, follow them. And number three, find this post on Instagram, tag a friend, and now you are qualified to enter. This is an international giveaway, by the way. So no matter where you are, if you have mail services or a way in which we can give it to you, we will do that. Not personally though, cause you know, that's expensive. I would love to, you know, but I just, I will be announcing the winner of the Griptite Pro Telepod in next week's video when we talk about the Handypod. And then I'll give this out and then I'll announce the winner after that. You, you know how this goes. If this video provides you any value, do me a favor and smash that like button. Just get after it. Subscribe, do all the things and the bells and all that. And head over to Instagram to enter to qualify to win the Joby Griptite Telepod. Details will be in the description as well. I am out. I will see you on the next one. Peace.